this message is for my brothers out there, my fellow Kenyans. This is key for our nation, for our country. This is a great country that is led by God. We have the men and women of God who are at the forefront leading this nation. Uh, and I want to tell you something that is so much important. Jeremiah 29 verses 7 going down. It says, Seek the peace of this city. And when it will be peaceful, you will also be peaceful. What is the mind of God for us? God is expecting us to seek the peace of this nation. The peace of our environment. The peace of our neighborhood. He's talking to me and to you, believers. We can yes, because he's saying that when it is not peaceful, we shall also not be in peace. And that is the exact thing we are seeing around. You go left, you go right, you hear from the TV, the radios, all kind of social medias. What you hear is negativities. What you hear is frustrations, depression, discouragement. The news we are hearing, they are not pleasing to ears at all. The kind of messages we see, here is not pleasing. The kind of difficulties the families are in today, they are not things to take for granted, my dear brethren and sisters. God is calling upon us the key to restore the peace of this nation. You know, peace is not the uh, 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 absence of wars only. Even as an individual, when in your mind you are not peaceful, then things are in mess. So we can seek. And how do we seek the peace of our nation? Number one, by erecting Psalms 133, dwelling together in unity. We must be together. We speak one language. We pray one prayer. The problem today is that we have group A and group B. Group A praying against that group. Group B also praying against that group. So God is asking you, before you pray, are you united? That's why Paul is saying, there are some prayers that God doesn't answer. That's why Paul was saying, you are praying but not receiving because you are praying a missed prayer. A missed prayer is a prayer that has no the mind of God in it. What is the mind of God in, in our prayer? The mind of God should be Psalms 133 to be activated in our lives. And Psalms 133 says, When brothers and sisters dwell together in unity, for there, in that unity, God will command his blessing. So, dear brethren, it is time before things fall apart, we seek the peace. Our leaders, this is the best time. We put away our differences, not only on the, on, on, on the, on, on the public so that we can please the people, even our mindset. Let's begin by unlearning to learn the new strategy. And I think when this is established, we will solve this mess once and for all. It has been there for years because we are coming in to do the same, same thing until it has now become a culture. And we are not seeing the result because God is far away from us. He has distanced himself. Not, not because we are sinners, no. Because we have uh, decided not to Embrace Psalms 133. God is expecting us to be one. Regardless of our background, He's expecting us to be one. When we go to pray, He wants to see one language, one prayer, one faith. Until that happens, we will never see the result. That is my humble request this evening, my brothers, 